Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to provision infrastructure in Azure uh, pipelines using the Terraform. So uh, let me tell you what is uh, the infrastructure as a code. So but you all know that uh, uh, we can provision the infrastructure using the Azure pipelines, using the ARM template deployment, using uh, the uh, the build pipelines and the release pipelines wherein we st we can store our code in the Azure repos as well. So if you would see the uh, auto as far as the automation of the deployment is concerned in the Azure DevOps, uh, there are quite few ways you can deploy it. And as you all know, Azure DevOps uh, helps us to build, test and deploy any application to any cloud or on premises. So uh, in the coming videos, we'll see uh, what we exactly mean by the infrastructure as a code and a configuration as a code. So there is a difference between infrastructure as a code and configuration as a code. I'll try to use some of the popular tools that we can uh, do the automation of the deployment. Uh, we will build and apply a Terraform plan that will automatically provision Azure App Service in Azure Pipelines. Well, if you don't know what an Azure App Service is, you can watch out uh, my uh, playlist on the YouTube uh, which talks about the Azure App Service and different components associated with it. We will run an Ansible playbook that will automatically configure the virtual machines uh, running on Azure. Uh, we will use an Azure Resource Manager template to automatically provision and configure the Azure SQL database in Azure pipelines as well. Well, as far as AZ, uh, the Azure DevOps is concerned, the associated certification uh, is AZ400, which is Microsoft Azure DevOps Solutions. Uh, there are some prereqs that you should meet wherein you should uh, have the uh, account on Azure DevOps. You should have the Azure subscription and an organization set up in the Azure DevOps. I'll show you what my organization is and then you can log on to that. So if I would talk about provisioning uh, the infrastructure in the Azure pipelines, we will uh, build a release pipeline in Azure pipeline. Uh, we, uh, we will deploy the web application to Azure App Services instance uh, that we can also build up through Azure portal as well. And uh, well, th there would be a few things. You should have the Azure subscription. You should have the GitHub account. You should have Visual Studio Code so for to edit the code. You should have a .NET Core 3.1 SDK, and you should have Git installed on your computer. From where you would be doing this lab. Well, Azure DevOps is free. We uh, you don't need an Azure subscription to work with Azure DevOps, but here in to complete this lab, we would need an Azure subscription because using the Azure DevOps pipelines, we will be provisioning the resources in Azure subscription. And just, just a small note that we can use Azure DevOps to build and deploy almost any kind of application written in any language. So uh, uh, through in these videos, we will be mostly working with .NET Core application written in C Sharp. And uh, well, I am not an expert in .NET or C Sharp, but I will still be able to complete these uh, uh, videos, these lectures, because I would be downloading the code from the Microsoft GitHub site. All right. So uh, this was the short introduction I wanted to share with you guys to to before starting this uh, video series. So I hope you like it. Stay tuned for uh, more videos. We will see uh, what is infrastructure as a code. In the coming videos so i hope you like it and uh, thank you for watching you have a great day till next time have a good day